Okay, good. Got that done. 981 plus how many on the copy? Let's see. Seven. <laughs> so 988. Oh yeah, it's completed now. Whoops. 988 total. This was okay. This could have been so much better if the waves weren't the hardest part by a country mile, especially the wave at 80 is the worst, and the ship part at 60 is way too hard. There were a few other little choke points throughout. The, the pre-drop UFO is disgusting, genuinely disgusting. Like every, the, the last three clicks are so dependent on how you've done every single other click up until those clicks. It was just, I really, really strongly did not enjoy that. Um, every click in Optations part should have been nerfed, and I almost, I mean that with almost no exceptions, that whole part is stupid hard. Um, yeah, like, the, the core gameplay here is really fun, it's just a lot of the, like, the way it was handled wasn't my favorite, and because it didn't sync super well, like, the waves just kind of were there, they didn't sync necessarily, I'm not gonna enjoy it as much, right? I love a level where I'm, like, really kind of feeling like I'm clicking to the music, and the music and the song are really going together really closely like that. This was, did an okay job of that, but not my favorite job ever. And then also, because this level's decorated so sort of, like, uniformly, and the gameplay's just sort of kind of whatever, I really can't pick too many, like, moments out of this level, especially the middle section, and be like, oh, this is what the gameplay is here. Like, I can tell you there were two waves at the start, um, and there's a, sh there's a long ship before the end of it, the before the end of the cloudy bit, where we go to, before, like, the orange, dark orange bit. A lot of the other gameplay in there is just kind of like, I can't tell you what just happened. Like, I have no idea, genuinely no clue what I did in that middle part. It just kind of, it, I did it. I did it a lot. Right? It was just, I found a lot of the gameplay in the middle to not feel memorable. Which I don't think is a discredit to the gameplay necessarily. I think that's more of just a me thing. Right? Where I just didn't latch on to anything. Um, the gameplay here is really solid. This is definitely one of the better IDL levels. Uh, I don't think it's perfect. I think it could use... A healthy dose of rebalancing, um, and, and yeah, like I say, a healthy dose of rebalancing, a few slight nerfs to some stuff, um, maybe even some buffs to some stuff, because there were parts in the pre-drop that felt like they could have been in like a low-end hard demon, and there were parts in the drop that felt like they belonged in like a green tier extreme, you know what I mean, it was just, it was a weird experience. Um, not bad though, I'd recommend it, I think. <laughs> I'd recommend it for an IDL level. I don't know if I'd recommend it for a level, but it was solid. It was pretty good. Felt like doing an IDL completion. It had been a minute, so there you go. Alrighty, I'm going to cut the recording here now. Bye.